Hello everyone. In this video, we have solved this interesting math question. X factorial is equal to x cubed minus x. X is equal to what? How to solve this question? It is an interesting math because of that here is factorial. So how to solve this question? So first of all, here is x factorial. So we know that n factorial, it will be n times n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 factorial. So according to these rules, I can say that it will be x factorial. So x factorial, it will be x times x minus 1, x minus 2 factorial is equal to and in this case look x cubed minus x so i can say here is x is common so x cubed divide x it will be x square x divide x it will be one then i can say that it will be x times x minus one x minus two factorial is equal to x times x plus one x minus one according to algebra identity s square minus b square it will be a plus b times a minus b according to this rules i can say x square minus one it will be x plus one times x minus one okay now at this moment if i divide both sides x times x plus one or x minus one x minus one yes so i can say these these cancel and these these cancel and we are finding out here is x minus 2 factorial is equal to x plus 1. Now, at this moment, uh, if you think here is x minus 2, let, let x minus 2, it will be n. Yes, we are let x minus 2, it will be n. So, in this case, I can say that x, it will be n plus 2. So x is n plus 2. So x plus 1 is equal to what? So I can say x plus 1, it will be n plus 2 because of that x value is n plus 2 and here is plus 1. So I can say that it will be n plus 3. Yes. So in this case, I can say that x minus 2 factorial. So x minus 2 factorial, it will be n factorial is equal to x plus 1, it will be n plus 3. Now, at this moment, n factorial, I can say that it will be n times n minus 1 uh, factorial is equal to n plus 3. Now, at this moment, look, I can say that it will be n times n minus 1 factorial minus n is equal to 3. I just move on this and this side it will be negative n. So in this case I can say that n is common so this I divide this it will be n minus 1 factorial and this divide this it will be 1 is equal to 3. Now at this moment I can say that here is n minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3 over n. Then in this case I can say that it will be n minus 1 factorial is equal to 3 over n plus 1. I just move on this one in this side. So in this case, if you think n is equal to 1, so this is this n get a domain equal 1. So n is equal to 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial. So it will be look uh, uh, and it, it will be 1 so 3 plus 1 it will be 4 so it is not possible 0 factorial it will be 1 1 not is equal to 4 so if you think n is equal to 2 so 2 factorial so 2 minus 1 factorial so it will be 1 factorial 1 factorial it will be 1 is equal to n is equal to 2 so 3 divide 2 plus 1 it will be 5 over 2 yes so 1 not is equal to 5 over 2 so it is not possible then if you think n is equal to 3 so in this case i can say that 3 minus 1 it will be 2 factorial so 2 factorial it will be 2 and 3 divide 3 because of that n is equal to 3 so it will be 1 1 plus 1 it will be 2 so i can say that n is equal to 3 this is our right option so but we are we'll like look x minus 1 is equal to n so x is equal to n plus 2 so we'll find out n is equal to 3 so i can see that x is equal to n plus 2 so we'll find out n is equal to 3 3 plus 2 so i can see that it will be 5 yes x is equal to 5 this is our final answer let's check out uh, our question is x factorial x cube minus x so x factorial it will be 5 factorial 
is equal to 5q minus 5 so 5 factorial it will be 120 and it will be 125 minus 5 then i can say this minus this it will be 120 and it is also 120 so x is equal to 5 this is our right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care